Hello guys, today in this video I am going to explain you in detail regarding how to dissect the USMLE step 1 question. So the USMLE examination has been evolved so much in the past decade. Especially for every year or two, the number of questions given in one exam is drastically decreased and length of the question is keep on increasing. Therefore, in a given ample amount of time, it is very important for every medical aspirant or a student should know how to understand and dissect the USMLE pattern of questions. So here I am going to explain about the 5-step strategy to dissect the USMLE pattern of questions. So the first step I will tell all of my students as well as the medical aspirants is Whenever you see a lengthier question, the most important thing what you need to do is read the last sentence first. This is the gold standard principle to solve USMLE type of questions. So majority of the USMLE experts believe in this sentence because reading the last sentence gives a clue in anticipating what the question stem is about. For example, if the last sentence reads, what is the likely etiology of this patient's hyperthyroidism? So you have a great first look into what the stem will be about. That is, if the last sentence reads, what is the mechanism of action of this newly added medication? Then you have a pharmacology question that can save you lots of time. And read one to two sentences up from the last sentence and find the drug and answer the question, saving yourself a bunch of time. So that is, if the last sentence reads, what changes are most likely to be seen in this patient? You know that most likely this is a physiology question and need to see what is going on further. So therefore, it is very important for every USMLE aspirant that they should adopt in solving questions by reading last sentence first. Second important step is briefly look at your answer options. So a lot of students don't do this step and it's something really really important. This step tells you the depth to which you need to understand and what is going on it especially in the step. So it can give you more clues into what the stem will be about if the last sentence is very vague. And coming towards the step number three, which is read the first sentence. So do not take this particular sentence for granted. Why? Because the first sentence always explains you about what is the age of the patient in the given case? What is the biological sex? And what is the chief complaint? Let me take an example over here. If you have a patient with 83 year old male coming with the chest palpitations, immediately you will think that it is most likely to be atrial fibrillation, less likely to be a congenital defect. But if my question started with a six month old who turns blue, that is cyanosis, when playing and squats to feel better, then obviously it's most likely a congenital defect and less likely to be atrial fibrillation. Here, age is the most important factor along with the chief complaint. So therefore, don't forget to pay attention to the timeline. So what is acute? What is chronic? So timeline in a given case in the history or disease process is extremely important because Whenever you see a sudden onset of testicular pain in the middle-aged patient, then obviously it is most likely to be testicular torsion. But whenever you see a slow onset of the pain, that could be a cancer. So time will give you the diagnosis over here. Now coming towards the step number four. Now read the rest of the stem in the given case. Now what you need to do is read the whole story in the stem and try to ask yourself, that why they are saying this and if you think it is fluff say that there is definitely excess of information in every question 
they try to distract you with extra information which is actually not needed for you to answer. And this is less true for the NBME exams but 99% of the cases the sentence is absolutely true when you talk about other question banks as well as the real USMLE step 1 exam. So constantly think yourself what does this mean? Why did he give the story? Why he has included about the recent travel? Why he had mentioned about his pets? And what examiner is trying me to think of? So what can I eliminate from the information given? So all this you need to think in a given amount of time. Therefore, the probability of answering the right question drastically increases. And coming towards the final step, that is the most important step, which is the process of eliminating the wrong ones. So if you know the right answer right off the bat, that's obviously great. But don't be overconfident because every question is important in passing the exam. So first select your answer and then read other options and try to eliminate wrong ones and also try to give a legitimate answer to yourself stating that why this is wrong. And sometimes it's hard to eliminate everything especially if you are just going off a gut feeling and that's fine to do sometimes but the point is slow down and you have time still read each and every option and make sure that you didn't select any of the answer too quickly and this is a very great way to eliminate silly mistakes what generally majority of the students do in the exam. So finally my take home point is never underestimate what as a student you are capable of because trust me you can surprise yourself if you maintain the perfect strategies to dissect the USMLE Step 1 exam, therefore you can get greater scores in the USMLE Step 1 as well as Step 2 CK and pursue your greater medical career in the United States.